a massive Galaxy S26 leak just dropped. Samsung is flipping the script for its 2026 flagship lineup, and we just got the juiciest battery leak yet. New names, new strategy, and yes, real power upgrades, but only for some. The Galaxy S26 Plus is gone, replaced by a sleeker, more refined Galaxy S26 Edge, while the base model transforms into the Galaxy S26 Pro, a name that sets the tone for what's coming. Now here's the bombshell, Samsung is finally upgrading battery capacities across the board, except for the Ultra. According to a report from ever-reliable Galaxy Club, Samsung is inching forward with the S26 Pro, now rumored to pack a 4,300 mAh battery, a solid bump from 4,000 mAh in the S25. The new S26 Edge, 4,200 mAh, up from 3,900 mAh, while rivals in China push past the 6,000 mAh mark with cutting-edge silicon carbon tech, Samsung's Magic Ear is not just bigger, it's smarter. Reports say they're using next-gen materials that allow a thinner frame and a larger battery. That's a serious engineering flex. But if you're eyeing the Galaxy S26 Ultra, brace yourself, same 5,000 mAh battery. The only consolation? A massive charging boost, finally moving to 60-watt wired charging, a leak we've waited years for. Samsung may lean on AI to improve battery efficiency, but real innovations like silicon carbon might not arrive until the Galaxy S27 era. So yes, this isn't just a refresh. The Galaxy S26 family is getting real upgrades, bold changes, and a powerful new direction. But ultra fans, you might feel just a little left behind. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. Ever seen. With striking design upgrades, cutting edge performance, and smarter software, this device feels less like an update and more like a statement from Samsung. Let's start with the design, because it's a showstopper. The S26 Ultra arrives in six stunning colors, ice blue, titanium gray, mint green, pearl white, phantom black, and the ultra premium champagne gold. Each finish has been carefully crafted to look both modern and timeless, perfectly matching the high-end feel of the ultra series. The camera housing blends seamlessly into the rear panel, while the minimalist matte finish exudes class. Visually, Samsung nailed it. Flip it around and you're greeted by a flat 6.8 or 6.9 inch AMOLED display with razor thin bezels, delivering an immersive edge to edge experience. Yet it still packs a 5000 mAh battery. Charging speeds are also set for a big leap forward, with leaks hinting at significantly faster wired charging that could finally match industry leaders. Under the hood, the S26 Ultra is an absolute powerhouse. It's driven by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 Elite 2, promising huge jumps in performance, efficiency, and AI capability. From intense gaming to editing 8K videos, this chip is built to handle it all with ease. We're now going to run through the full specs, design, and expected pricing to help you decide which one is right for you, so hit subscribe now, and let's dive right into it. First up, the standard Galaxy S26. It's coming with a 6.2-inch dynamic A and OLED display with improvements in brightness and color accuracy. We get a 120Hz display with HDR10+, and a resolution of 1080x2340. The display will be protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 3. For selfies, it has a 12-megapixel punch hole camera. On the rear, there's a triple camera setup consisting of a wide, ultra-wide, and telephoto, but the exact sensors are still unknown. It'll be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 chipset and comes with 12GB of RAM and up to 512GB of storage, UFS 4.0. The battery is a 4000 mAh unit with 25 dB fast charging and 15 dB wireless charging. It will also support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband support. The phone will launch with One UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to start at around $800 in January 2026. Next we have the Samsung Galaxy S26 Plus, which may also be known as the S26 Edge. This one will come with a 6.7-inch dynamic A and OLED display with similar improvements in brightness and color accuracy. You'll get a 120Hz display, HDR10+, and a resolution of 1440x3120, protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 3. 
There's a 12 megapixel punch hole camera for selfies. The rear setup includes a dual camera system with a wide and an ultra wide camera, though the exact sensors are still under wraps. It's also powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 and will come with 12 gigabytes of RAM and storage options of 256 gigabytes or 512 gigabytes, UFS 4.0. The battery is a 4,900 mAh unit with 45 DD fast charging and 15 DD wireless charging. It will support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra wideband. This model will launch with one UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to be priced from $1,000 in January 2026. Finally, we have the premium model, the Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra. This one features a 6.9-inch dynamic ANO LED display, again with improvements to brightness and color accuracy, 120Hz refresh rate, and HDR10+, with a resolution of 1440x3120, and it will be protected by Gorilla Glass Armor 3. There have been reports suggesting that this could feature the first-ever under-display camera on an S-series phone, likely an 8-megapixel under-display selfie camera. On the rear, it will come with a quad camera setup featuring wide, ultra-wide, telephoto and periscope lenses, but the exact sensors are still unknown. The phone will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 in all regions and will come with 12GB of RAM and up to 1TB of storage, UFS 4.0. It's packing a 6000 mAh battery with significant improvements to fast charging. As expected, it will also support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and Ultra Wideband. The S26 Ultra will launch with one UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to start at $1,300 in January 2026. Overall, it's looking like the Samsung Galaxy S26 series is going to be an exciting release, especially if the Ultra becomes the first S-series phone to feature the under-display camera. Samsung seems to be continuing their strategy of improving and refining their phones, rather than completely redesigning them for the sake of it. And just like all new phones, there will be a major emphasis on software, with AI playing a huge role in the user experience. The launch is still a bit far off, but we can expect plenty of information to leak as we approach the release date. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on the latest updates.